Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am Abid Rida Babil, your chemistry teacher for GSCH 101. The module number 8, the last lesson number 4 about the chemical equilibrium. In this video, I will try to explain you Lee Chatelier principle. Lee Chatelier principle explains the optimization of a chemical system at equilibrium during a system in equilibrium there could be some changes in concentration change in temperature change in pressure or change in volume and the catalyst these changes could be used to optimize the product in the chemical industry so this is called process control it could be a complete course or a complete engineering but here we will just briefly try to understand lee shetlier principle that will explain you the relationship between the chemical equilibrium and change in concentration temperature pressure and volume and the catalyst so let's go to our lesson directly lee shetlier principle Lee Chatelier was a French scientist who put forward this principle. This principle explains that if a system at equilibrium is disturbed by some external forces, these external forces could be change in concentration or change in pressure or change in temperature or catalyst. These four factors could affect the equilibrium state of a system. If these four factors changes, the system will try to adjust in such a way that the stress is partially offset or gone as the system reaches a new equilibrium position. So whenever a system is at equilibrium and these four factors try to change the position of the equilibrium, the system will try to attain a new equilibrium position and system will go again in the same equilibrium state. But what direction the reaction will go that we have to decide. So there are four factors. Number one factor is the concentration. So concentration, uh, let me tell you this. The concentration, number one factor, okay. As we know already that concentration, the relationship with the rate, the rate is directly proportional to concentration if the concentration of the reactant increases then the reaction will go in the forward direction if the concentration of the product is increases as in this in this example he says ammonia is added means concentration of ammonia is increased means product is increased so this will go in the reverse direction reverse means left so let me tell you this thing here forward means what is the meaning of forward forward means it go from left to right this forward and reverse means it is same left and this is same right the sign will change sign will be reverse so it will go towards the left so in this case here when the ammonia is increased added ammonia is in ammonia increase so it will go reverse so let us take the journal idea of this first uh, stress means change in concentration so we take a general equation that is a plus b change to c and d so this a and b are called reactants and c and d are called products So if the reactant concentration of the reactant increases then the system will go to the forward direction if the concentration of reactant is decreases then the system will go in the reverse direction so the opposite of it if the concentration of the product increases then the system will go in the reverse direction if the concentration of the product decreases then it will go in the forward direction so same thing is written here he is telling about the product 
if the product increases then it will go reverse reverse means it will go the left so you can write here reverse so if the product increase the system will go in the reverse direction if the product decrease then it will go in the forward direction if the reactant increases then it will go forward if the reactant decreases then it will go reverse so this is the first uh, condition change in concentration so we go to the next there is the change in temperature in the case of temperature we have two types of reaction one is the exothermic other is the endothermic so exothermic reaction are represented by in the chemical equation it will be minus delta h delta h will be minus some number will be negative means heat is coming out of the system endothermic reaction in which heat is absorbed so it will be plus delta h will be mentioned as some positive numbers so in this case here this is uh, endothermic it is positive here okay now if you increase the temperature means you give the heat and the system is also liberating the heat so it will be not happy because both are increasing that heat so it will go reverse or k will be decreased in other language you can say k will be decreased if the k is smaller so the reaction will go in the reverse direction if the k is big the reaction will go in the forward direction so now the other condition uh, if the endothermic reaction means system want heat system need heat and heat is provided by increasing the temperature so system will be happy and it will go forward or k increase k increase also means it will go in the forward direction now the other condition if the temperature decrease and system is liberating the heat system is giving heat outside and outside temperature is low so system will again will be happy and it will go forward so the last condition if temperature decrease means outside temperature is low and system is endothermic system also need heat so that will be not happy both of both of the things need the heat so the system will uh, reaction will go in the reverse direction okay so now the uh, pressure change in pressure so this change in pressure we have various methods are there but this method here there is some easy method now remember the relationship between the volume and the pressure if the pressure increase volume decrease if the volume increase pressure decrease inversely proportional that is boyle's law okay so he can talk with the terms of temp uh, pressure or the volume so they are inversely proportional so here we have to see the system the one mole of a combined with the one mole of b and producing one mole of c so we can say this is two moles of the reactant reactants are total two moles and the product is only one mole so reactants are more number and the product is less less means fewer number so we have to decide this rule if you see the increase in pressure increase in pressure means volume could be decrease so the system will go side with the fewest mole so if you increase the pressure if you increase the pressure it will go in this direction means it is less number of mole if you decrease the pressure so it will go the most number of mole most number of mole is 2 so it will go the reverse direction so let me write here this will be in for this case for this case it will be forward and for this case it will be this will be reverse okay now the increase volume now he is talking about the uh, same thing he will talk in the terms of volume increase volume means decrease the pressure so then it will go in the most volume side most number of mole side so then again it will go in the this in this case it will be called reverse so decrease in volume decrease in volume is increase in pressure increase in pressure it will go in the fewest means the less number less number is this is one is less here so it will go in the forward direction so 
in your example you have to first remove the solid and the pure liquid and then leave only the gaseous state or the aqueous state make the total number of moles of the uh, reactant like this here and make the total number of moles of the product in this here okay and then you check if the pressure increase then it will go to the less number of uh, moles so this is the less number of moles two and one one is less so it will go forward okay if the pressure is decrease then it will go to the higher number of moles so this in this direction towards the two so you have to see the chemical equation and check the number of moles of the reactant is more or the number of moles of the product is more after removing the pure solid and pure liquid don't forget to remove the pure solid and pure liquid now the catalyst so very easy thing that in the if you put the catalyst there will be no change in the equilibrium constant so there will be no effect the system will not shift it will not go to the left it will not go to the right although the concentration changing inside but the equilibrium will remain as it is so we can say no change when you uh, use the catalyst okay the reason is that in when you use the catalyst the both side forward and reverse will have the same effect so rate of forward reaction will be equal to the rate of reverse reaction so there will be no change in the shift so system will remain at equilibrium i hope you understand and then now we'll solve the problem this is the summary whatever i talk to you the four um, conditions of changing that the pressure and the volume are related to each other they are inversely proportional also you can go through these rules no problem we solve the uh, 14.12 problem here before you solve the problem i remind you this is pure solid so remove it from the equation this is also pure solid so remove it from the equation okay and now this is 3 mole on as a reactant and 2 moles as a product so now see the uh, question predict the direction direction means you have to tell it is forward or reverse left or right of the net reaction in each case as the result of increasing the pressure increasing the pressure or similarly you can say same thing decreasing the volume they are inversely proportional so we take one thing only here the increasing the pressure so increasing the pressure then it will go towards the less number of uh, uh, moles so this will go forward this will go forward So now here this is also gas this is also gas and this is also gas so no need to remove anything but this is one mole and this is one mole so total is two and this is also one mole so we have uh, this one mole reactant but two moles of the product so when you increase the pressure so it will go to the less number of uh, moles so this will go reverse now here it is one mole then gas no need to remove carbon dioxide is also gas one mole no need to remove water here in the gaseous state not in the liquid state this is gas so no need to remove carbon monoxide is gas so no need to remove so here two moles of uh, reactant and two moles of the product both are equal so system will not affect because both the number of moles are same you, there is no uh, less or more both are equal so by increasing the pressure there will be no effect no effect or no change you can say okay now in the practice exercise we this is two mole this is gaseous state so no need to remove this is also two moles gaseous state no need to remove chlorine is gas and it is only one mole so total will be three moles so we can say this is total 3 moles and this is only 2 moles so this is side is more number of moles let us read the question predict the direction of the reaction as a result of decreasing the pressure so pressure is decrease so pressure is decreased so it will go toward the higher number of moles so this will be forward okay so one minute let me check this answers which I give you uh, 
14.12 the forward reverse and no change yes true so this is correct and this is equation is forward correct so now we go to the next uh, exercise 14.13 okay 14.13 here so this is a, a one system but different changes are there this one system so let us complete the system this is one mole here and this is two moles here so um, system is expanding more number of moles are producing and uh, this is endothermic reaction plus we usually don't write but to understand we have to show it the plus means this is endothermic reaction so now the system information is complete now we go to number a the reaction mixture is heated heated means increase the temperature increase the temperature and system want heat system need heat because it's endothermic so this will be happier system happier condition so it will go forward okay and the number two n2f4 dinitrogen tetrafluoride is removed remove means decrease okay is removed so the concentration of this will be decreased so this will go reverse the rule number one so this will be reverse if the concentration of the reactant decreases so the system will go in the reverse direction okay uh, the pressure on the reaction mixture is decreased the pressure is pressure is decrease releasing the pressure okay and the temperature constant temperature temperature is not changing means equilibrium constant will not change so pressure is decreased so pressure is decreased so you have to see which direction number of moles is more this is number of moles so this will go forward direction this will go forward direction okay now uh, number last catalyst so when you see the catalyst in the uh, question you have to remember that there is no shift or no change or no effect whatever you say it is correct okay the last practice exercise in this system there is a three mole of oxygen and two mole of ozone so let me explain you this system this is a natural system in atmosphere ozone is remain in the atmosphere ozone is produced by the thundering of the uh, uh, thing and during the rainy season when thunder occur it produce high voltage because of the high voltage the oxygen changes to ozone and due to pollution the human creates pollution the ozone is damaged and then ozone will change into oxygen so this is a natural system but uh, we have to see here this is endothermic reaction so we write here plus for our understanding okay now we start the question increasing the pressure increasing the pressure so what will happen by increasing the pressure uh, they want to put the pressure from outside so what will be happen so increasing the pressure means it will go towards the fewer side so this will be forward this will be forward a will be forward okay now b adding oxygen if you add the oxygen if you add the oxygen so system will go in the forward direction so b also forward the b is also forward number c c is a decreasing the temperature decreasing the temperature means the it do not supply the heat and system want heat system is endothermic so not happy the system will be not happy so it will go reverse okay now adding catalyst no effect no shift or no effect whatever you want to write it's okay so this is the end of the module i hope you understand the least shatter principle it was the most difficult topic of this module because it do not have the calculation it do not have the formula it needs only your understanding of chemical engineering that is called process control so i hope this video will make your understanding very easy